Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to have fun with paths. We're going to make a paper plane follow a path. We're going to make a camera follow a path. And here's the overall target goal, what we want to see. I'm just going to switch to the camera view here and hit play. So here's what I want. I want the plane following the path. Path has to be fairly smooth, well thought out. And then the camera is also on a path and it's tracking the plane the entire time and following it. And so this isn't going to be too hard as long as we follow the basic steps. So let's get to it. I'm going to tell you what you need to make and then we'll walk you through the, uh, not the tricky steps, but the ones that you have to make sure you get the right settings for. All right, here's step one in making this cool little video. What you want to do is you want to make a couple objects for your world. So one object that you're going to make is you're going to have a giant plane for the ground here. I'm actually just going to turn this off, the visibility, so it's not in our way. Uh, you need a couple objects for the plane to fly through or to fly around. Be creative. You do not have to do two rings like I have here. Do whatever you want. Buildings, up, down, over, pyramids, through hollow cylinders. Do whatever you want. Just don't take too long, right? Make a quick world. Uh, you need the paper airplane. Um, I'll probably give you a file with that, or if you want to make your own make your own paper airplane. And then here's what you do next. I'm just going to name a few things. Uh, one thing we want to name is I want to name the plane. So with it selected, you can go to the object tab and here instead of leaving it called the default name, let's call it my plane. Okay, hit enter so it has a good name. Um, you'll also notice I left out there that you need to make a curve. So I just used the Bezier curve and this time it was going up and down in 3D space. This, once you get the hang of it, is actually pretty fast. Um, I would recommend, first of all, doing it from a top-down view. Then once you get the top-down view working with your path, then you can switch to a side view and you can raise the points and make them go up and down. Okay, This is actually one of the most important parts of this because if your curve isn't relatively smooth, the paper airplane is going to look really weird when it's flying around, right? So try to make your path smooth. I'll go to the Objects tab when it's done, and I'll call this Plane Path. Okay, so our things start to have names now. Now, at this point, you're basically ready to start doing the animation of the plane. So here goes the plane animation. You actually want to take your plane, and we want to move it to the dead center of the world. So I'm just going to hit Alt-G and Alt-R to make sure the plane is fully reset right in the center of the world. Why this is important is because I'm going to tell the plane to follow this path. And there's a neat thing when you tell the plane to follow a path. If it's right at the center of the world, then the plane will follow the path right from the start of the path. But if the plane were to be, let's say, back 20, 30 feet or units, then when it attaches to the path, it won't start here. It'll start 20, 30 units back. Now, sometimes you want that. Sometimes you don't. I'm actually going to do that with the camera so the camera's a little farther back. But for our plane, Alt-G, center of the world, and now we're going to tell it to track along this curve. So you just go to the constraints go to add a constraint and we're going to use the follow path another one we could use would be clamp to but that's for another time so I'll do follow path it'll say what path do we want and I really only have one curve in my world right now plane path so I select that one you'll see now if I just go to the timeline it might work and as I move the timeline the plane is moving and notice it's right from the start right to the finish that's great and the only thing I want to do next is I just want to tell it to follow the curve now when I tell it to follow the curve you can see the plane turns as the curve turns now what you may notice is it's not facing the right way well there's an easy way to fix this it's these forward axis buttons here probably the easiest way is just to guess buttons and see which one works and for me, negative x works. Perfect. 
you can see the x direction here points this way, negative x the other way. Either way at this stage, just be happy that you pick one and get the right one that works. And now my plane is following beautifully. All right, so now it's time to get this camera following a path, filming the plane. So here we go. I could make the camera follow the plane path. But the problem with following the plane path is that then it's exactly behind the plane, and that's maybe not the best view. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a second path that the camera is going to follow. Now, I'm not going to go and take the time to redo an entire new path, unless you want to. I'm going to do a little quick mode here. I'm just going to duplicate this existing path and rename it. So I'll select the path. You can hit duplicate or shift D. So I'll hit shift D. I'll hit Z. So when I move it off, because remember it's there, you just got to move it a bit and click. There we go. Now I have plane path and I have this one here, which I will rename and I'll call this one camera path. So, plane path, camera path. Now let's get the camera attached to that path. Right click the camera, Alt G to put the camera back to the center of the world. That way when I attach it to the path, it'll start right from the start of the path. So let's go to constraints, follow path, and pick the plane path. Whoops pick the camera path there we go and now the cameras on its own path now don't tick follow curve I'll show you why here you'll see they're both moving right now the camera just stays stationary right if you do tick follow curve the camera is gonna curve with the curve but the problem is, or it rotates with the curve, the problem is it doesn't guarantee that it's actually going to be looking at the plane. So skip this. I'm going to add another constraint that we've used before that tells the camera to look at the plane. So here we go. The camera selected. Add another constraint. Track to. It opens up down below, so there's our follow path constraint, and then below it, another constraint, track to, and I'm going to tell the target to be my plane. Now you can see the camera does turn, but it's not aimed at the plane. There's actually a little setting here. I don't want to go into the reasons and complicate this video, but you want to set the 2 to negative Z and the up to Y. And what you're going to see is this actually does work. The problem is it's staring straight down at the plane because the plane is straight down. So as they move along their paths together, it is following our instructions, but the camera shouldn't be right above the plane. So here's a neat feature we can set in the follow path. There's this option called offset. This is how many frames that the path following is delayed by. So I basically am not going to say follow it right away. I'm going to set this to something like, that was way too much. Let me just type it in. I'm going to set this to something like 40. So 40 frame delay. So now watch what happens. As this gets started, the camera is not following the path until I hit frame 40. Then it follows the path and tracks the plane. And that's our video, basically. Now, if you want to see this happening, I think 40 may be a little not quite enough. Let me go to, like, 50. Let's give this a go now. Okay, so here's just the visual of it. A little bit of a 60-frame delay. The camera starts along its path. You can see it's tracking the plane. The plane's doing its motion. Perfect. Let's switch to camera view. And you can see here the overall result. Tracking the plane, following its curve. Beautiful. Not that bad, right? And so that's pretty well what we want you guys to do. Uh, there's one more little addition here. Now from this point on, this is really just a little extra bonus you can do. But you can see what I've done with the plane here. As it turns, I'm actually making the plane tilt. 
okay, or bank. Uh, if you want to add this, you can watch the next video and I'll show you how to make the plane actually bank at the same time. Now once you get this looking decent, what you can do is you can go and give this a little render into the animation, right, into a video, and you got a neat little video there. Okay, and then save this file because we can do other things to it like change the plane, we can start the color, add a big background, etc, etc. But that's the basics of this one. Uh, hopefully it goes smoothly for you. Uh, good luck.